Sally Fiorina, hot off the debate stage and back on the campaign trail in Iowa. Fiorina highlighting her private sector experience as part of her strategy to take out ISIS. We need the private sector's help because government is not innovating. Technology is running ahead by leaps and bounds. The private <laughs> sector will help, just as I helped after 9-11, but they must be engaged and they must be asked. I will ask them. I know them. Former Hewlett Packard CEO and 2016 GOP presidential candidate Carly Fiorina goes on the record from Iowa. Good evening. Good evening, Greta. How are you? I'm very well. Okay, so t using the private sector, debates don't give me much time to talk, so I want to find out a little bit more now. So who would be the first call to you, do you think, in the private sector and the technology to help you out? Well, first, let's just remember that since 9-11, Technology has moved on at least four generations. Uh, the iPhone was invented in 2007. The iPad came out in 2011. Now we have the iWatch. We didn't have social media back when these laws and procedures were written. And now, of course, social media has moved on several generations. Technology is, by its nature, disruptive and innovative. And bureaucracies are, by their nature, slow and absolutely terrible at innovation. They are process driven. So I would make several calls. I would make calls to the heads of every social media company. I would make calls to the heads of Google. I would and talk tell to the what? equipment companies as well. What I would ask them is to help us defeat this enemy. So just as an example, we now know that the Department of Homeland Security has not been checking social media. Are you kidding me? We know where these jihadi websites are. They're all over the world. Every parent in America is looking at social media. And by the way, employers look at social media as well to vet would-be employees. But somehow, the bureaucracies in our government haven't thought to do that. So we know, who are, we know where these websites are. And there are absolutely ways in both hardware and software to understand who's traveling to these websites. Let's use that capability. Instead of getting hung up in a bunch of hidebound bureaucratic procedures, including the fact that many of these departments are clearly being told, oh, don't do that. It's not politically correct. You might harm someone's civil liberties. We're at war. We have the tools we need to defeat this enemy, and we can do so within our Constitution. But arguing about laws that started in 2001 isn't going to help us. All right, so CEO of Facebook, he might be a may maybe a phone call from you? Of course. All right, then, so I guess just, all right, now let me, ta let me talk about some news today at Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill voted that Congress is extending $600 billion in tax breaks for business, investors, families, you, on the other hand, I mean, it's like, well, they're, well, they're fussing with all that. You say that you're going to reduce the tax code to three pages. Um, I mean, that's a big stretch yeah. from 600 and some billion tax breaks to three pages. So tell me. Yeah, you know why that has to be done? Because 73,000 pages of complexity is how government abuses its power. And they give breaks to some and none to others. Three pages actually levels the playing field. So they'll take less of our money and we won't have to wait forever for them to give it back to us. But interestingly, there's been a plan for a three-page tax code sitting around for 20 years. It's just nobody wants to deal with it because you see the politicians are all invested in this incredible complexity as well. How often do we talk about tax reform? We talk about it every election cycle. Republican <laughs> candidates stand up and talk about tax reform. It never gets done. I'm going to ask people to help me get a three-page tax code, 20 years old, right, we, finally passed. And I'm going to use technology to do it, by the way. We only have 30 seconds left. So what's your message to the Republican-controlled House and Senate tonight uh, after this, uh, this tax bill passes? Well, look, we are not governing as conservatives. It's why people are sick of the establishment. It's, pe it's why people are losing faith in politicians. I offer tested conservative leadership. I am someone who has produced results all my life. Okay. And what the American people need now is results from a tested conservative leader. And oh, by the way, one more thing. I can beat Hillary Clinton. Nice to talk to you and enjoy Iowa. Thanks, Greta.